Almost 15 years ago, I started my career as a high school teacher and athletic trainer in North Carolina. And when I was teaching coaching at a school there, got interested in the idea of what would happen if some of the small school powerhouses got a chance to play some of the top larger schools. It'd be interesting to come up with some sort of way of ranking all of the teams across the state regardless of classification and uh, over a year or two came up with the idea for this all classifications computer ranking and a website down there got interested and then some media caught wind of it. One thing kind of led to another and I started making predictions about playoffs and this sort of thing and then when I moved to Ohio five years ago and saw how big high school football is here and with the computer point system it was just a natural thing. The rankings of the teams are based on uh, who you play, whether you win, and by how much, but use a system not unlike what uh, some of the computer rankings and college football's bowl championship series have done. I can use it to predict future games and say how likely a team is to beat any other team if they were playing at home away or in a neutral field. And so I can simulate by computer the rest of the season lots and lots of times and start to see what's likely to happen, what's the chance that they make the playoffs, that they get a home game, and also uh, what are the probabilities that different teams make it all the way to, the, uh, to win the region or make it to the state level. Four weeks into the season I can say who two-thirds of the playoff teams are or more, but when we get down to the end of the, uh, the last week of the regular season, probably 90-95% of the teams are going to be correct. Overall, we're, we're right most of the time. At this point in the season, I have run 25,000 simulations of the rest of the regular season. And if their showing is absolutely in, it means not even once out of those 25,000 times did they not make the playoffs. The ability to be able to look ahead is hard. Uh, you can be able to, to calculate the points of where things stand up to today is doable, uh, but trying to look ahead and understand the what-if scenarios is the most challenging part of this, and, and being a, uh, somebody who's trained in math, I have access to some tools the average person doesn't that lets me be able to simulate a season a lot of times and, and get some idea of the what-ifs out of that. So on a, a typical week, to make all of this run, I'll start out by uh, going to Joe Idle's website like the rest of the state, and he posts scores for every game around the state as well as all of the out-of-state opponents. Take all of uh, the scores off of here from his site into a, a database that I have and so I can post those scores into here and all of that text gets converted into numbers of uh, team identification numbers and scores and what week the game was at and take all of this data on all the scores of the season so far and plug that into a, a specialized piece of computer software for scientific computing and that's where all the hard work is done in a matter of minutes that I let it run all of the rankings and uh, simulate the playoffs a bunch of times. Right now 25,000 simulations would run in a week. Then it gets put into a big Excel spreadsheet that lists a lot of the things that you see on the website and you can see all of their schedule this point in the season, everybody they've played, all their information about seeds. So for example in region 13 here are all of the playoff probabilities for every team and what's the probability conditionally if they win a certain number of games how likely are they to go. From that then I take all of those things and eventually get them post it onto the website so when someone clicks through they can see any of those things, find out information about their own team or the playoff picture from around the state. The last few weeks, the regular season, maybe the, the week leading up the first playoff games, it takes a little more time but a lot of the year uh, this is a back burner sort of project. So I have a, a terrific job in terms of uh, getting to do a lot of things I really enjoy.